Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and this year for Mother's Day, instead of giving my mother a card, I want to give her something she can keep. So I'm thinking of something like a mug rug or a postcard, something she can display or use. I'm not sure the size yet, so I'm going to let the fabric tell me exactly what size it needs to be. This is going to be a simple project, very little sewing, and it's going to go together quick and easy and still be very nice. So my idea is going to be to take some of these roses, cut them out, put them on a nice clean background, have a little frame, add a little embroidery or some hand stitching in a little window. So it's sort of going to look like a postcard, but she's going to be able to use it. So in order to know what size I'm going to need, I'm going to cut out some of my flowers first. I do not want to stitch these down, so I'm going to use a permanent fusible web, something that takes no sewing. And in this case, the Heat and Bond Red is a non-sewing, so it's very, very strong. As a matter of fact, you do not want to sew through it because it is very permanent. So I'm going to use that and iron it onto the back of some of these flowers and then cut the flowers out. Now there are a lot of different companies that do have this non-sewable one, so be sure to follow those directions. So I've ironed on that heat and bond. Now I'm going to take the paper off before I cut them out. It's just going to be easier than trying to peel off all that paper afterwards. Now I'm going to cut out some of these roses. So I have some of those flowers cut out and I did choose a background fabric that is very similar to the background that was on these flowers. And that way you won't see any of those little edges. I want to have these flowers go around in a circle. And in the middle of the circle, I want to write something or have some kind of an embroidery. So I am going to make a window and I'm going to use this darker red. I will be sticking it on once again with a heat and bond, but this time I am going to use a light one because I do want to stitch this down. I just don't want to stitch around all of those flowers. So I've done a shape that I think is going to look good, so now I'm going to cut that out. So I now have that little window shape cut out. I do have a few embroidery stitches that I could use. And what I'm wanting them is to fit inside of this window. Now if you don't have an embroidery machine, this is a great opportunity just to handwrite a message. Happy Mother's Day, anything can go in this window. My mother's name is Lorraine, so I'm going to choose some kind of an L. And I think I like that little B. So I know that is going to now go together. So I'm going to start and assemble this. I'm going to start and peel that back off and stick it right there and centered my picture. So my little window is stuck on and I'm going to turn this whole piece now into an applique by putting some heat and bond right along that back. I will be using a lighter one because I do want to stitch this all together. My heat and bond is on the back now I'm just going to cut it all out. I now will be able to stick this on. My idea is I'm going to have this type of window with a message inside and then I'm going to be able to put the flowers around it. But I do want to stitch this down with a satin stitch or a buttonhole stitch. So I'm going to stitch it down first before I put my flowers on. These flowers will be the very last thing that I do. So I'm going to iron that on and stitch around. I love the way that satin stitch really finishes this off. From here, I'm going to quilt this piece, and I'm going to do it before I put the flowers on. So I'm just going to sandwich this with some quilt batting and a backing, and I'm going to go to the machine and just do some quilting and quilt that whole thing. So I did an all-over pattern. It's a little swirl with these flowers on it. I straight stitched all the way around the two circles, and I've left this without any quilting. From here, I'm going to be able to add my flowers and I'm going to be able to just lay them around until I find an arrangement that I like. And then I'm going to be able to fuse those on. 
because I used that red heat and bond, the one that doesn't need any stitching, I won't need to stitch them. But the quilting's all been done, so it's going to be a lot easier than having to quilt around those flowers. So I have framed my flowers with sort of a floral arrangement. Now I'm going to be able to trim it down. I'm going to start a little bit bigger and keep trimming until I find just the right size. And there is no wrong size. I did enough that I could do another little one. But I like the size of this. I like the way it looks. So I need to do a border. I'm going to do a double border. The first one's going to be a little flange and then my binding. To make a flange, I'm going to start with one inch strips of fabric, press it in half, and take the raw edges and put them along that raw edge. So you're going to do two sides at a time and stitch this down with an eighth of a seam allowance. So we have that little fold pointing in. Trim off those edges and repeat for the second side. Once again, sewing at an eighth of an inch. Once that second side has been stitched on, make sure we have it all trimmed and that's all there is to adding a flange. So we have this little folded lip all the way around. Now we get to put our binding on. Because this is a small project, I do like a small binding. So I start with my fabric cut at two inches and I'm going to use a scant quarter inch and that's going to cover that one eighth seam. Stitch your favorite way and turn it over. I will put a link in the description on how to sew on binding just in case you'd like to check it out. So let me sew on that binding and get it done. That little binding definitely finishes it off. The flange adds a nice detail to it and it wasn't a lot of work. You can always use an embroidery if you have one. If not, it's nice to write our own messages in there. So we basically have a circle that we applicate on, quilted the background, glued those flowers on, put a little binding on, and we're done. And the size is always going to be different because the flowers or whatever you're putting on the side will be different. You could do butterflies, grapes, fruit, animals, you could do anything that you want and that will make it even more personal. If you are not stitching down these applique shapes, be sure to use some type of a heat and bond or a product that does not require stitching and that will make sure that it stays nice. The fabric is going to tell us exactly what to do and it's going to change the size, the look and the outcome. And that's what's going to make it really fun to make and really fun to give. I do hope you give it a try. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. Thanks again for joining me. Bye for now.